Tixers and welcome to term two. Um, I certainly hope you have fun in the R class this term. It's a very different term to what we used to, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy being in the R class this term. I'm going to see you online in Google Classroom or Google Meet. And if you've got any questions about the lesson, please feel free to ask me as well. Um, in our first project this term, we are going to be using our Chromebooks to do something called macro photography. Macro photography is a really close up of an object. So, or close up view of an object. And I'm sure as you could tell by the intro of the video, we are going to be doing close up of eyes. Now, the picture that you take today, this doesn't necessarily need to be a picture of a human eye. So if you've got a pet that you really love, you could take a picture of a pet's eye, or your mom or dad's eye, or your bird's eye, or any eye that you can get hold of. If you've got a, a pet iguana, feel free to take a picture of that pet iguana's eye. So without further ado, let's get into the lesson and let's get started. For this project, you're going to need the following materials. An A4 piece of paper, HB pencil, eraser, a black ballpoint pen, if you don't have a black one, a blue one, but a black one is preferable, and a photo of an eye that you took either on your cell phone or your Chromebook. Now I did struggle to take the picture on my Chromebook. Um, because there's no zoom function on the camera. So if you have an access to a cell phone, a cell phone is preferable. Now the next step is to take a photo on your cell phone, convert the color photo into black and white in your photo editor. So let's get started. Our first step is to get it's going to be to establish the pencil structure of our drawing. Pay special attention to the bottom of your eye. Does the eyelid overlap the pupil or can you see the whole pupil? Use your pen to establish half tones and your black cokey to establish the darker tones. Remember to take your time. The golden rule of art is patience. Well, great Texas, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. We, I'm gonna see you straight after in Google Meet and we'll get started with the activity.